In this video, we're going to create this cool peeling effect using particles. We're going to use the Nexus Infectio and Constraints to control how these particles are joined together and peel off the surface of the object. So let's go to Cinema 4D and get started. So here we are, and this is the piece of geometry that we're going to use to peel. It's just a simple tube. Have a look at the, the mesh. And this is what we're going to put our particles on. So we're going to go to Insidium X particles and we're going to add an emitter. With the emitter, we want to emit on the surface of this. So we're going to go to the object tab, set the shape to object and put our object into the object list. Let's set the particles to be in the polygon area and go to emission, set that to shot. We're going to use the simulate mode so that we can see our particles on frame zero and we're going to put no speed on them. We're going to set the amount to 100,000 so we've got lots of particles to look at and then we can start getting some modifiers in here. So let's go to Insidium X particles, Nexus and for this one we want the Infectio. So Nexus Infectio and that creates an infection process. So what we need to start with is a seed object. And the seed object is where the infection starts from. So let's add a seed object. You can see it creates this seed object here in the object manager and it's an object that we can move in the viewport. So let's bring it down and put it on the edge of this pipe. Something like that. And this is where our infection will start. So if we push play put it into the GPU and you can see it's creating the infection. Now the default process from this is fairly linear. It's just going to create this sort of circular growth effect and I'd like to get it to be a bit more organic. We're going to do that by creating black and white values with the particles and that will mean that the infectio will use the white as the infection path and ignore the blacks. So we're going to go to the emitter, display, and where we got color mode, we're going to change it from single color to shader and we'll use a noise. So we've got a noise in there and we can either leave it at default or choose something that you like. We'll leave it at default. Just going to make it a little bit bigger and put a little bit more contrast into it. Bring down those to get a little bit more of the black. So now if we push play and watch the infection, you can see it's not as linear. In fact, we need a bit more of the blacks in here. Something like that might look a bit better. Let's see how that looks. There, you can now see it's a lot more organic, more natural. And this is actually really cool for things like adding mold onto objects and stuff like that. Okay, so there's our infection. And this is what we're going to use. And what we want to do is we want to start blowing these particles off. To do that, we want to go back to Infectio and we want to change the mode from fixed value to use groups. It creates an option to add groups. So let's just add, holding control, a group for each of these, the infected and the incubating groups. If we push play, it'll be exactly the same. All the difference is now is we've got these two groups. So the yellow ones are in this group too. And that's good because that's these are the ones that we want to start blowing off. Okay, so let's go back to Insidium, X Particles Nexus, and we'll get a wind. Bring that out and let's give it some direction. So we want them to blow them off up. We also have a collider tag on our base geometry so the particles can't flow through it. So we'll push play again. And you can see they're all blowing off and we need to constrain it just to the group. So with the wind, Add the groups affected and drop in particle group two. We'll play this and you can see now just those particles are blowing off and that effect on its own is quite cool. If we add a turbulence in there, so let's go to Nexus and we'll add a turbulence. Again, make sure it's on group two. And let's put in Voronoi, let's say 10, a bit more scale. That's going to look quite cool as well. It's going to like a disintegration effect on its own. But for this effect, I want to keep these particles together, constrained together. So we use a nexus constraint. Let's go back to Insidium, X particles nexus, and we're going to bring in a constraints. 
Now, we don't want to use the birth particles because they're already born and that's not going to work. We want to use distance. So we're going to add a connection distance constraint. We're going to make sure that we're using the group. So it's only affecting the particles in group two. And let's do a few more things. Let's make it 50 connection limit and 250 radius. So it's quite large. You can adjust the stiffness and the breaking if you want to, but we'll leave it like that. Now let's play this one. Let it go into the, as you can see now it's keeping them together. They're a bit more like it's paint that's peeling or something like that. It's a lot more organic. See how I'm happy with that. See how it's all those really stringy bits. It looks really cool. That's cool. So I'm happy with that. So that is a quick technique to do paint style peeling effects using X particles and Nexus.